Happy Pandemic Friday to you. Happy Pandemic Friday to you. Happy Pandemic Friday to you. Please stay home. That's all I got. Good morning. It's April from MamaLovesFood.com and DinnerHero.com. I hope this March Friday is doing you well. At least it's not Friday the 13th again, right? <laughs> so our lighting, I think, is a little better today. I mean, more realistic, I should say. I don't know why. I do the same thing every day. Um, but today, it's you can see that I am 40 years old and don't have washed out perfect skin. I like the other days better, personally. <laughs> but it is what it is. You guys, I slept so hard on my face. I've been up for hours, and I still have a line through my face. Can we talk about that? It can't be healthy. <laughs> anyway, when you get on, say hi. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're able to enjoy your weekend and uh, enjoy this as a Friday and not a just another random day. Um, oh, I found us, I found us, I found us. Okay, so today's mug is from the Tennessee Aquarium, which we visited a few years ago. It was a, I, I'm going to be honest with you, good morning, Miss Marianne, good morning, Ari, good morning, Heather. I'm going to be 100% honest with you, good morning, Carrie and Wilson. Um, I'm going to be totally honest with you, I'm not a lover of aquariums. They stress me out. My kids touch everything. They're germ fests. They're crowded. Don't love them. Personally. Like when I'm in the depth of it. But I can acknowledge that they're really cool, right? And my kids adore them. Um, <clears throat> so I just don't really enjoy the experience. Anywho, my point is we went to the Tennessee Aquarium I have a thing for octopus, in case you had noticed. Mmm. Freshly microwaved coffee. We went to Tennessee Aquarium a few years ago, on a whim, while we were in Tennessee. Which is how most of our trips work. By the way, I'm sharing to Miss Lynn's page, 365 Days of Baking. And it was a really cool aquarium. It was very, 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 very nice. Very well done. A bonus that we learned was that if you purchase a... Um, if you purchase a year membership, the entire thing is tax deductible. It's considered a charitable donation, which was really cool. So we did that even though we didn't know if we were going to be able to get back. We, I don't think we did get back. I think we got back to Tennessee, but didn't end up going to the, um, aquarium again, but it was still really cool. Um, and we didn't mind donating because it's a really neat facility. My point is mug is from there. But also, they are doing a very cool thing, and I put a link in the description to share this video to your wall. You'll be able to see all the links. They have live cams in a lot of their exhibits, <clears throat> so if your kids want to see the animals, they've got um, aquarium live cams. And I just checked it. They're up and running. Um, I watched the penguins for a few minutes before going live. That put a smile on my face. Happy Friday, Miss Deborah. I'm not sick. <clears throat> I have allergies. I'm fine otherwise. We've been in quarantine for three weeks now, so... Um, I'm not super worried about that. I mean, always a little bit worried, but not super worried. Hey, Miss Angela. Hello, Lynn from Alberta. Hello, Deborah. All right, we are sharing to Princess Pinky Girl. Anyway, how's everybody's day going? My dog. We'll start with, I was chatting with my aunt last night. Hi, Aunt Sally, if you're watching. I was chatting with my aunt last night, and she just got a new puppy, and it is the most ridiculously cute puppy ever. So she sent me a video, and I was saying, oh, I really want another puppy. Sharing to Holly's page, by the way, Quirky Mama. And I really want another puppy. So those of you who have been with me for a while know that we lost our one of our dogs um, last year. It was very, very, very sad. She'd been with us for... Gosh, she was like 17, 15, 12. I don't know. She was, she was an older dog. Um, and it was very sad, very awful. But now our current dog has no, no sister. So I would like to get another pup. And we just recently put all hard floors in our house, which before was supposedly the reason we couldn't get another dog because 
it would just pee everywhere, right? Well, we don't have that problem now. So I said to Wesley last night, we should get another dog. And he basically, like, served me a divorce papers with his eyes. <laughs> so we're not getting another dog. But it's so cute. Okay, so everybody's on now. I think we're good. Go ahead and give me your daily rating. What? 10 is... I hit the lottery, yay, million bajillion dollars. One is somebody pissed in my Cheerios in the literal fashion. Um, so tell me, I'm about a six today. I honestly, when I first woke up, I thought I was gonna be like a two because I got a really terrible night's sleep. Oh, so the end part of my story though was that I my dog, um, made me kind of not want another dog because she crawled all over me. She paced. She paced on the bed all night long. And sorry, I was just putting this in the group. If you're not in our group, make sure you join. The link is in the description above too. Um, so yeah, she crawled all over me last night. And then at four o'clock in the morning, she must have jumped out of bed, which means she probably peed somewhere. So there's probably a puddle. Thank goodness we have hard floors at least now. We can just wipe it up. But, um, and then she barked at me to get back in bed at four o'clock in the morning. Like, and then on top of that, I promised my six year old to sleep over tonight. So he's planning on bunking in my bed, which means he's going to kick me in the neck all night. So, but I woke up feeling okay. So I don't know. I just like, this is what I was saying yesterday. My mood does not seem to correlate to things that are going on in my life that well. Lee is four under the weather. Oh no, Lee. Mm, rest up. Rest up, rest up. Wilson is a 10, Mia's 7. Oh, I'm glad Wilson's a 10. <laughs> 5, woke up with a headache, but 10. <laughs> I like that, Raina. Um, right now I'm a 2 and a 1. Oh, Michelle, I'm so sorry. Moving weekend. Oh, gosh, poor you. Moving weekend's always like a 1 for me. So, I started to tell you guys a story yesterday, and I'll finish it today because I quit mid-sentence. So, my son, Steven two days ago gave us a real scare. Those of you who follow me on Instagram um, know that his lips turned blue, right? That's a scary thing. So uh, Wes and I have been splitting the work day and I work until 1.30 in the afternoon and then we trade off and he works until about 5.36. And um, so I go in and the kids were in the pool and so I sit and he's like, um, I don't remember, he was doing something on the patio, and Steven, so he's my 10-year-old, came into the patio right by where I was sitting, and Wes is like, oh yeah, April, his lips are blue, and I'm like, oh, he's probably cold from the pool, and he's like, Wes says, no, 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 his lips have been blue since before the pool, and I was like, I'm sorry, what? Because a child's lips being blue usually indicates a lack of oxygen, which is a real problem, right? I'm like, what do, you, what do you mean his lips are blue? So me being the crazy person I am, we own a pulse oximeter, which is the thing you put on your finger at the doctor and it tells you if you're getting enough oxygen in your blood. So I run and go get that and I take his pulse ox and it's totally normal. So I'm like, okay, this is a good sign. We know he's not getting brain damage right now at least. And so I have several doctor friends, including my dad. I call my dad and he didn't pick up the phone. So I call my girlfriend, who is a pediatric anesthesiologist, and she thankfully happened to be home. And so she did, first thing she asked, obviously, was do you have a pulse ox, <laughs> which I did. And he was fine with that. And so she did a tele-exam on him, and she's like, I don't know, this is really strange. She said, normally the only time we would see blue lips and pink everywhere else is carbon monoxide poisoning. She's like, but you said he's been playing outside all day, so that's literally impossible. I was like, I know. So she's like, well, take his, t check his oxygen levels, you know, every hour or so. If he starts acting weird, wheezing, having trouble breathing, you know, confused, whatever, call me right away. You know, we'll figure out if we need to go to the hospital. Okay. All day goes by, checking him periodically. Totally normal. Lips are slowly going back to normal color, but like very slowly, right? Like at dinner time, they're still blue. They're just not like blue. And I drilled him about everything. Did you get bumped in the mouth? Did you eat something blue? Did you, you know, sleep on your face? All these things. And, uh, no, 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 nothing happened. So I'm finishing up dinner and he comes in, he's got his water bottle and he's like, oh, hey mom, could this have done it? And he sucks his lips into his water bottle. 
you guys. He gave himself a damn hickey on his lips. He gave himself lip hickeys. He gave himself lip hickeys and gave me a heart attack. <sighs> anyway, he's fine. So that was my adventure the other day. <laughs> I forgot to tell you about. <sighs> lip hickeys. Good gravy. Anyway, so the other thing... I got a lot of questions recently. I've been, you know, if you guys want to talk about anything in particular on our morning chats, just shoot me a message and I'll, we can chat about whatever you want. Um, so I got several messages yesterday asking if I could talk about our homeschool schedule. So you guys know we've been homeschooling for years. Um, and uh, so the last few years I've been back at work full time and we have a nanny and we use tutors but our schedule has remained the same, basically. I know, Allie, can you believe that? I could, oh, I mean, I'm so glad it's nothing serious, but I was like, are you kidding me? Oh, kids. So, um, so yeah, we, we have maintained the same schedule, though, for years, basically, since uh, I was staying at home and doing, and doing the homeschooling full-time with them. So I can tell you what works for us. Uh, it won't necessarily work for you, but I will tell you what works for us. Um, first of all, homeschool takes much less time than school at school. Go into that knowing that elementary school is going to take two to three hours tops. Middle school is going to be three to four hours tops. High school is going to be four to five hours. There's no admin. Admin. There's no red tape. There's no. There's no. You know drop off. There's no pickup. There's no filing into lines. There's no waiting for the class to be ready. Right. Like it's all. It's very just condensed. So if you're sitting down thinking you have to do six hours of kindergarten with your child, you can just take that right out of your head right now. Kindergarten's like an hour or two. There's really not a ton to do, right? You're going to go over your letters. You're going to do some reading. You're going to do some basic math. If you've got um, a workbook for science and social studies, that's fantastic. If you don't, it's not. Um, so our schedule is they start at 10 a.m. So in the morning, they are allowed to get up and do... Um, <laughs> you're fine, Carrie. Um, in the morning, they're allowed to get up and play electronics until about 8, 8.30. My kids get up early, so they're up around 6. So they can play between 6 and, like, 8. They can play their electronics. They usually play a combination of some electronics and some Legos. Hi, Joan from Wisconsin. Um, and then around 8, Wes makes some breakfast or they have cereal. Um... I don't know that I'm the right person to ask about weight loss, Michelle, uh, but we can talk about it if you want. Um, so, uh, yeah, so then 8.30, they're usually done with breakfast, um, and it's free time. Absolutely no electronics. Uh, so outdoors usually, sometimes they'll play board games or color or paint. Um, hi, Crystal from Nevada. Uh, so, wake up at 6, 6.30 electronics until about eight. This is so mom and dad can sleep, by the way, in case you were curious. I am not up at this time, neither is Wes. Oh, sorry. Exhaust from the fan, uh, or from the fridge. Uh, so then 8.30 is, or eight is breakfast, eight to 8.30 is breakfast. 8.30 to 10 is free play, no electronics. 10, they start schoolwork. They also usually have a healthy snack around that time. Um, so like an apple, grapes, cheese stick, yogurt, um, nothing unhealthy, nothing snack, nothing like chips or cookies or whatever. Uh, noon, they break for lunch for about half hour, 45 minutes. Um, usually just a sandwich, something basic or leftovers that they can grab. Tortillas, we do a lot of those. Um, hi from Puerto Rico, Denise. Then, um, then they work until about two. Uh, and most of my kids are done around two. My middle schoolers maybe go to three sometimes, but not usually. And then, um, and then they're off for the day. The afternoon is typically, they can watch like a short show if, um, if they want, and then outside all day. There's, you know, we don't typically allow electronics, um, like video games and stuff in the afternoon too much. Although I will say with the change in schedule, it's been allowed a little bit more because most of the time in the afternoons they would go outside and find friends, right? Which they can't do now. So we're being a little bit more lenient about that. And that's our schedule and that's worked for us for a long time. They know it. So a lot of the big part that you're going to, you know, there's just this adjustment period, right? Um, and they just have to learn the schedule and learn that you mean it. So you have to be mean a little bit at first. Um, and just, this is the schedule. This is what we're doing. This is the schedule. This is what we're, they're doing. 
after a week or two, they'll understand that that's a schedule, right? Um, we talked about incentives before. Uh, those vinyl stickers are amazing. They are fantastic incentives. We talked about Aaron's incentive of Bob's Bar in the afternoon doing like a small soda or, you know, a candy tree if they get through the day well. Um, I'm not a big fan of behavior charts. Um, you know, I just, I don't know. I, I don't personally like them. I know a lot of people use them. So that's kind of how we do it. Resources that we use for those of you who are going like true homeschooling and not through the school. We use Khan Academy. We use readingeggs.com. We use mathseeds.com. We use Duolingo. Most of these are free. Math Seeds and um, Reading Eggs have a small fee. Um, we use the 180 Days workbooks are great. Um, the Harcourt notebooks are great. Um, yeah, that's basically what we do. So hopefully that helps. Uh, yeah. Should we look at our stocks? We didn't look at our stocks. Oh my gosh. Those of you just joining us for the first time today. Uh, when we started this like a week or two ago, um, I joined Robin Hood. We're down $31 today, which I've been told is normal for a Friday. So, um, you guys can see the stocks I have. Oh, you can see my screen today. That's fun. And then, um, so there's my stock. Sorry, it's backwards. And typically in the morning they go down and then they go up in the afternoon. But Fridays tend to be down a little bit. I am up overall close to $100 though. I don't know. Stock market's really, 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 really low right now. So I thought it might be fun to join. Um, if you join using the link in the description, which I will drop in the comments also if I can find my mouse. There's my mouse. Um, where is it? If you join using the link in the description, um, you'll get a free stock and I'll get a free stock. Fair warning. Um, it's like a $3 stock. Nobody's getting rich off these free stocks, but it's still fun. And I think they said like one in every 200 or something gets like Apple or Facebook. I haven't seen that, but I also don't have 200 free stocks. So <laughs> Maybe it's coming one day. I don't know. Uh, but I just do it kind of as a distraction. I've never learned how to play the stock market before. And this is a free program. It's free trades. You pay only for the stocks, right? So a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, I have to put my social security number. And oh my gosh, I have to put my bank information. Yes, you do. It is a banking stock. It's a banking platform. It's a safe banking platform. Um, if you don't feel comfortable doing it, don't do it. But if you want to join us, you know, it's fun. It's something that's distracting me a little bit. And my husband and I are competing. And you can refer your spouse. Um, so as long as you have separate social security numbers, you can refer your spouse. So like Wes got a free stock from me um, when I refer to him. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm enjoying it. You know, I'm only putting a little bit of fun money in, um, like once a week. So it's not, I'm not putting, um, this isn't like, uh, my life savings cause I don't really have much in the way of life savings, but that's a whole nother story. <laughs> Guys, who's gonna go watch the live feed from the aquarium? Hmm. I think I might just put that on my second monitor and keep it up. Have the penguins keep me company all day. <laughs> Whew. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I don't think I'll be doing coffee chat on Saturdays and Sundays. Uh, I'm gonna try and keep that as I typically do for the family. Um, but. I will be back on Monday, hopefully, knock on wood, fingers crossed, and uh, we'll catch up then. If there's anything you guys want to chat about, send me a message or leave it in the comments. We can do that. Um, and I will try to remember to take notes because it definitely flows better when I remember to take notes about what I want to talk about. Um, make sure you visit the website, please. That's how I feed my family. Mamalovesfood.com. M-A-M-A-L-O-V-E-S-F-O-O-D.com. Join us in the afternoons for cooking. I don't think we'll do it today. I think I'm going to go ahead and, um, take the day off. But we'll come back probably Monday or Tuesday and cook together again. Uh, you can find our old coffee talks. If you don't want to go through Facebook, you can find our old coffee talks and our old live cooking shows on, um, YouTube also youtube.com slash mama loves food. Hi Lori from Wisconsin. Hi Kelly from Australia. Um, and what else? Oh, Dinner Hero. We have a book. We have a book. It's called Dinner Hero. Dinnerhero.com. If you want to purchase a copy, you can get an ebook or a physical copy of the book. They are still shipping. Thankfully, the warehouse that ships our stuff is considered essential in California. So 
um, you can get those. Oh, Heather got dinner here. Yay. High five. Hi, Leanne. We've been on. Um, so we're on in the afternoons now for the live cooking since this Corona, Corona dome situation has happened. Um, we were on last night. So dinner here is fantastic. If you are, um, somebody who does not sure to how to stock your pantry or just wants really easy dinner solutions. It teaches you how to stock your pantry, how to prep your proteins. So lots and lots of recipes, um, just basic recipes. And then on top of that, it gives you 78 unique recipes to cook with that stocked pantry. So if you're not sure what to put in your Instacart order this week, go ahead, get a copy of the book, put it in your Instacart order. Guys, stay safe, stay home. I love you. You're gorgeous. And I'll see you next week.